Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we shall discuss about the subject school, community, and teacher. And in lecture number twenty-nine, the topic is effective feedback. The outlines of the lectures are first of all the introduction about uh, the main topic, then topology of feedback. the types of descriptive feedback and strategies for effective feedback first of all effective feedback what should be the effective feedback it should be focused learning attentions being lured means the end the success criteria means desired goals so uh, we discussed in detail that uh, effective feedback requires that a person has a goal takes actions to achieve the goal and receives goal related information about his or her actions information becomes feedback if uh, and only if i am trying to cause something and the information tells me whether i am on track or need to change course so Uh, what is effective feedback in the workplace you should know that uh, uh, effective feedback is a critical component of the productive uh, work environment it provides uh, a mechanism for uh, assessing an employee's performance a guide for promoting the development of an employee trying to master a new task or competency are uh, fodder for self reflections and a potential inducement to improve performance so if we uh, ask uh, the examples uh, feedback so an example of feedback uh, is a judge in a dance competition giving constructive criticism after a program uh, an example of feedback is a high pitch noise that is returned from the speaker when a microphone gets too close to it moreover uh, it should be uh, given in the right time and uh, it should provide guidance and strategies now there is uh, topology of feedback the topology uh, distinguishes two set of uh, options relating to strategies for providing feedback for example direct indirect or uh, meta linguistic feedback and the second one is the student response to the feedback for example revision required attention to correction only required as a basis for a sympathetic approach to investigating the effect of written corrective feedback so topology of the different types available to the teachers and the researcher the topology distinguishes two set of uh, options relating to number 1 strategies for uh, providing feedback and the second one is student's response and uh, if we talk about uh, formative assessment so those people uh, you with the opportunities to gain feedback and then reflect before completing the final assessment so they give your experience of writing or performing a task without uh, it having a direct impact on your formal progress uh, they are therefore an extremely valuable and important tool in developing your skills so you should take advantage of the opportunities to do formative assessments but do remember that read the feed, uh, feedback carefully it is important to review your writing or performance and to ask yourself if you can see why the feedback contains those commitment or comments uh, if you don't understand the feedback ask for clarification uh, so develop a plan uh, to work on the issues highlighted in the feedback you can get support with this compare the feedback across a number of assessments to determine the progress you are making so for those uh, uh, of you who are enrolling as a research studies our students you are nominated supervisors may request written work during the course of your degree that uh, they will give formative feedback on how often uh, this happens will vary from uh, one's research students and supervisory 
team to another. Uh, the one aspect is evaluative means involving judgment and uh, can affect how students feel about themselves. And the second is descriptive. Uh, descriptive means that uh, what the student did and providing guidance for improvement. So it is critical in closing the gap for students. Then types of descriptive feedback. Uh, getting informed feedback from the friends and uh, colleagues based on the need of students and focus around learning intentions of the task. That can be uh, as a reminder means calling back what was the lesson about x uh, remember the rule about scaffold means giving possibilities x uh, examples means why don't you try using etc then uh, for example giving clear examples for example why don't you use assembly word clear so uh, many students gain help from friends family and colleagues in developing their gaming skills so you can obtain the different kind of feedback from a peer who is non-specialist especially when it comes to clarity of meaning and the style of writing i need a friend or colleague who does not work in the same academic area may well find it easier to concentrate their feedback on some of the more technical aspects of your work such as spelling and grammar so as subject specialist that will be better place to give feedback on the accuracy and uh, detail of the work so it can therefore be helpful for to obtain feedback from the variety of people who have different sets of knowledge and understanding and how uh, and who may provide feedback with a different emphasis and perspectives Now, uh, written feedback. Uh, in the context of feedback, effective is constructive. In practical terms, constructive feedback is a specific piece of advice that uh, addresses a particular issues. Constructive feedback thrives on uh, actionable observations. At a very uh, broad level, workplace uh, feedback can be classified into main different categories like negative feedback, positive feedback, and negative feed forward, positive feed forward, etc. So uh, before uh, uh, explaining uh, written feedback, just uh, we go through the descriptive feedback like uh, specific information in the form of uh, written communication, uh, written comments or uh, observations that help the learners understand what she or he needs to do in order to improve and uh, evaluative feedback that is a summary for the students of how well she or he has performed on a particular task or during a term and uh, uh, wherever the written feedback is concerned so written feedback can be powerful tool for helping students to move forward in their learning however uh, we uh, bombard uh, the students with too much feedback and the students will shut down. Do you remember ever setting, uh, ever getting an English paper with more red marks than your uh, original writing? Uh, did you feel that it was uh, hopeless to try to write? And uh, written feedbacks has uh, the advantage that the students can refer to it over and over again uh, with oral feedback the students may forget uh, what was said so some techniques for effective written feedback uh, like uh, sandwich your improvement feedback between what the students did well in terms of the standard uh, moreover the focus on one to two critical aspects only uh, do not comment on all five components of your science lab report rubric uh, what processes your comments so that uh, Students can read them if students had in their work in uh, digital format. So you can add your comments in the appropriate places. Uh, word your feedback and students understanding talk. Instead of telling, asking question, uh, be positive or uh, neutral, never negative. Be very creative about what the students need 
to do to improve avoid write better enlarge ideas and be specific create a word processed list of concrete suggestions so that you can easily cut and paste uh, review your written feedback notes for students to see if you need to do whole class small group pair or individual focused instructions so allow an opportunity for the students to redo the work students learning is the purpose not a summative kit so uh, some students could having difficulty understanding the points you want to make uh, some students uh, could be able to read uh, your writing uh, can't uh, process the feedback what next so to check out this out to check this out ask them to tell you what you are trying to say then mocks work uh, versus comments so before going in detail uh, we see that what are comments in computer programming a uh, comment is a programmer readable explanations or annotations and the source code of computer program so they are added with the purpose of uh, making the source code easier for humans to understand and are generally ignored by compilers and interpreters so what is a single line comment single line comment for example allows narrative on only one line at a time single line comments can uh, begin in any column of a given line and ends at the new line or carriage return the double say uh, double slash character sequence uh, marks the text following it uh, as a single line comment uh, what are examples of positive feedbacks so there are uh, if we consider the examples so some examples of feedback or contractions in childbirth and the uh, reopening uh, of fruit negative feed examples include the regulation of blood uh, glucose levels and uh, ask for regulations commenting uh, what does commenting means to make remarks observations or criticisms like he refused to comment on the decisions of the court to write explanatory or critical note upon the text and uh, simply if we uh, talk about comment only then a comment is a text in the program code script or another file that is not meant to be seen by the users running the program comment help makes code easiest to understand by explaining what is happening and uh, help prevent portions of the program from excluding executing the image as is an example of html comment uh, if we see uh, the comments on the any paper or uh, any uh, documents of the students so comments are basically the words or sentences that describe uh, about any strength or weaknesses so uh, that may be in positive or negative sense uh, so comments may be actually a written description about the students only marks no gain only comments scored 30% higher marks and comments cancel beneficial effects of the comments and uh, research conclusions are uh, there that if you mock or grade a piece of work it means waste of time adding diagnostic diagnostic comments comments only so comments are sometimes uh, processed in various ways to generate documentation external to the source code itself by documentation generators or used for integration with source code management systems and other kinds of external programming tools the flexibility uh, provided by comments allows for the wide degree of variability but uh, formal conventions for their use are 
commonly part of programming style guides. Comments only provide students with a focus for progression instead of reward or punishment for their ego as a grade does. Comments only should make it clear how the students can improve. So your comments should be in the way that uh, that should be for the improvement and that should be uh, that should reflect a way that how can we improve the students. Plan activities and uh, work with feedback in mind. Let the design assist the process. Then too many comments. Comments are generally uh, formatted as either block uh, comments that uh, that also called uh, prologue comments or stream comments or line comments or uh, another word we can say in line comments so block comments delimits a region of source uh, uh, code which may span multiple lines or part of a single line uh, this uh, region is specified with a start delimiter and an add delimiter some programming languages such as MATLAB allow block comments to be uh, recursively uh, nested inside one another but uh, others such as Java do not. So line comments such uh, either start with the comment uh, delimiter and uh, continue until the end of the line and in some cases start uh, at a specific column in a source code and uh, continue until the end of the line. So how do you put comments to the students so, like work habits? Work habits uh, is a uh, conscientious, uh, hardworking students who work independently as a self-motivated student, consistently completes homework uh, assignments, puts forth their uh, best effort into the homework assignments and exceeds uh, uh, expectations with the quality of their work, reality grabs new concepts and ideas. <coughs> Too many comments uh, usually makes uh, difficult for specific feedback to be given, uh, overwhelming and uh, difficult to take in. And Clark suggests that uh, when giving uh, writing feedback, highlight two or three successes and one area where improvement is. Now there are some strategies for effective formative feedback. Like, uh, Mm, there may be five strategies like clarifying, understanding and sharing learning intentions, engineering effective uh, or classroom discussions, tasks and activities that elicit uh, evidence of learning, providing feedback that moves learners forward, activating students as learning resources for one and other. So, Feedback sandwich is one of the strategy like uh, you always uh, uh, should give an, uh, sh uh, you, you should give uh, the positive comment like constructive criticism should be there with explanations of how to improve and uh, your comment should be positive one and the contextual statement should be there like I, I liked and or because of this and so on. So now our next time our uh, interactive statements for example question based on allow students to act as a feedback uh, what is the most uh, helpful way to get feedback like live chat live chat is one of the most popular way of getting feedback from your customers or from students so social channels may be there polls and surveys may be there uh, monitor feedback on other sites, analyze on site activity, create a group, emails, ask for opinion uh, and uh, moreover there may be different situation like where you need to avoid giving feedbacks uh, when you are accidentally being a uh, hypocrite, when you have given a lot of other feedback recently, uh, when you haven't followed up uh, on previous feedback you have uh, given. So when feedback is used to lay blame or for any other reasons than to improve performance. Use uh, lesson time to redraft work and allow students time to focus on the feedback for improvement. Uh, reinforce the value of the feedback and uh, working in a sport. 
and if we talk about uh, follow up so and try to get more information about something uh, like uh, uh, the police follow up on the leads to do something in the responsible to to take appropriate action about something uh, he says that the police failed to follow up on his complaints so is follow up one word if you are using follow up as a verb so there is a space between the two words if you are using it as a noun or adjective so put a hyphen between the two words follow and up so some writers together as one word but that practice is not standard in follow up time in the lessons to talk individually have a written dialogue in the students book use a, a comment tracker or toggle sheet to formalize the dialogue in the workbook and a learning journal create a learning journal in which they can and a feedback summary effective feedback to the learners is best initiated by the learners focuses on the learning intentions of the task occurs as the students are doing the learning provides information on how and why the students understand and misunderstands provides strategies to help the students to improve and assist the students to understand the goals of learning so this was all about this lesson thank you very much for being and uh, uh, taking care and listening carefully take care allah hafiz